drink together unto Him. We are gathering together unto Him. And to Him shall the gathering of the people be. We are gathering together unto Him. We are singing together unto Him. We are singing together unto Him. And to Him shall the singing of the people be. We are singing together unto Him. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, good afternoon to one and all. During this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let's all pray for this intention. Diocese of Varangal, Redipalam Parish. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donor, Tanagunla Antonamma, on her 94th birthday, for good health of all the family members and good future of children, for the departed soul of Tanagunla Jojiredi, and for the souls of all who died in the family by family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Let us pray, pray for this intention. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the liturgy of the word inviting all of us to be ready to prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our day-to-day -day life, when we go for programs, when we go for functions and so on, we all plan out our program, when to go and when to come back, and while coming back, are the vehicles available for us, and what is the climate accordingly, we plan, we set everything, and we go. In the same way, in order to be with Jesus, in order to receive the kingdom of God, we should be always be ready for the kingdom of God. In a way to say, our preparedness to receive Jesus in our lives is something to be marked out on this day. Coming to the first reading, St. Paul very clearly mentioning that the new plan of God is that the revelation, the salvation, is given not only for Jews or for Catholics, but it is for all those people who are outside, whom we consider as outsiders. Very many times we show a lot of differences, rich and poor, gender differences, caste differences, with regard to economical differences and so on. But however, St. Paul is telling very, very clearly that he is chosen apostle for all the Gentiles, whereas all other disciples are for the Jews. So my dear brothers and sisters, come let us then around this altar. Let us submit all our personal intentions and in a special way all our failures and weaknesses so that we may receive the forgiveness from our Lord that's why we may worthily partake in this holy Eucharistic celebration. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my well, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever loving God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, to our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The mystery of Christ has now been revealed that the Gentiles are fellow heirs of the promise. First reading, a reading from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 2 to 12. Brethren, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given to me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things, so that through the church the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose that he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, with joy you will draw water, with joy you will draw water. from the wells of salvation. From the wells of salvation. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Your response, with joy you will draw water. With joy you will draw water. From the wells of salvation. From the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Your response, with joy you will draw water. With joy you will draw water. From the wells of salvation. From the wells of salvation. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitants of Sion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Your response, with joy you will draw water. With joy you will draw water. From the wells of salvation. From the wells of salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, hallelujah. By the blood of Christ we stand Every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land Giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb Hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land, 
giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God. Giving praise unto the Lamb of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 39 to 48. At this time, Jesus said to his disciples, Know this, that if the master of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have left his house to be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for, for us or for all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise manager whom his master will set over his household to give them their portion of food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if the servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begin to beat the male and female servants, and to eat and drink and to get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unfaithful. And the servant who knew his master's will but did not get ready or act according to his will will receive a severe beating. But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much was given of him much will be required and from him to whom they entrusted much they will demand the more. The Gospel of the Law. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, as we heard in the introduction, St. Paul declared himself as his apostle of all the Gentiles. We all know that Jesus has come to save humankind. And Jesus is savior of Catholics. Jesus is savior of Christians. Jesus is savior of only few. No. The point to be noted here today, my dear brothers and sisters, is that Jesus is savior of for all humankind. And if I have to add a little more, if I have to deeply reflect much more, Jesus is Savior for all the living and not living things and objects and humans. In a way to say, the entire creation is made by God. Human beings, animal kingdom, the fish kingdom, and the trees, the stones and all that we see. For all these objects and for all these human beings, Jesus is Savior. Very many times in our day-to-day -day life, we have a tendency that Jesus is Savior for me and all those who are not Catholics, all those who are belonging to other religions will surely go to hell. And they have place meant for them. My dear brothers and sisters, in a way, we do not have any right to judge anybody because Son of Man will come at an hour when we do not expect Him. Therefore, in Gospel, very clearly telling us that as a thief comes in unknown time to all of us, in the same way, Son of God will come to us at unknown time. 
please do not think wrongly that Jesus also will come like a thief. No, I didn't mean that. Which means, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus will come like a thief, which means Jesus can touch the life of a, any person at any point of time. Therefore, St. Paul, even though he was hating Jesus, not only Jesus, he was hating all those who were followers of Jesus, has turned to be a faith-giving person to all whom he meets. Therefore, very many times, even the disciples, if you oppose us, when we realize and reflect in deeper way, disciples, in spite of timing, uh, spending time with the Lord, in spite of having seen the miracles that Jesus has done, in spite of listening to all the teachings of Jesus, they did not uh, realize that Jesus is savior of humankind. They just thought, Jesus has come to save only Jews. Only for the people of Israel, Jesus has come and is the savior for them because he is a messiah. But whereas, outside the apostles, a person whom Jesus has turned his life, he had a U-turn in his life and Jesus is picking, picking him up and choosing him as an apostle for the Gentiles. Therefore, St. Paul very, very clearly telling us it is the mystery which was not known to people before, but now I am making the reality, the mystery to all people that they should realize. Therefore, he very, very clearly tells that all the members are belonging to the same body and partakers of the promises of Christ Jesus through the gospel. And this is the mystery. Therefore, today from the first reading, you and me have to reflect and think and realize that we have no right to condemn anybody. We have no right to criticize any other religion. And we have no right to speak ill of anybody else. Therefore, our Catholic Church believes and encourages all of us that we need to respect every human being whom we meet, whom we see. Second point to reflect, my dear brothers and sisters, very many times, all those who are doing sinful uh, sins and all those who are living a bad life, we naturally judge and naturally we condemn them saying, this person, because of his bad character, will go to heaven for sure. And such kind of statements, when they are made, we should realize that God can change life of any person at any time. Therefore, in the gospel, Jesus is telling, I will come at an hour when you do not expect in, my, in your life or in my life. If you have to reflect in a better way, I would like to give an example to all of you. The example is, my dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus was hanging on the cross, on his right, on his left, there were two thieves. They were put to the cross because of their sins, because of their mistakes. And at last moment, a thief is requesting Jesus, when you are in heaven, please remember me. The only request he made to Jesus. And Jesus immediately responding to him, saying, you are there with me the next moment in heaven. Which means, my dear brothers and sisters, at the last moment of his life, the thief is saved. Which means, God can change anybody's life at any point of time. It, only, it is only just a matter of time and it is only depending on God's will. Therefore, very many times as we condemn, as we show the differences, he is poor, he is rich, therefore they are like that. Sometimes, in a way, we consider rich as sinful. Sometimes we consider poor as sinful. Sometimes we judge women are like that, men are like that, and so on. And sometimes, depending on the caste system in India, very sad to hear, we judge. The people, those who belong to this caste will remain like that. They are bad. And those people, those who belong to other caste will remain like that. 
naturally we have got into our body system our thinking pattern that we try to judge based on the caste based on the creed based on the gender the sex and based on the all kind of differences economical differences and other differences therefore today the word of god inviting all of us that we have no right to judge anybody because son of god the messiah can touch anybody's life can change any person's life at any point of time even the most great sinful person can become a great saint a great saint can become even a sinful person we do not know what is our future therefore as the gospel in the first reading inviting us to reflect on few things number 1 that we all belong to one body of christ we all belong to one jesus as jesus is the savior of all human kind secondly we do not we should not judge anybody based on our religion and thirdly jesus can change anybody's life at any point of time fourthly any sinner can change into a great saint therefore my dear brothers and sisters let us pray for all the these things we have done in our life let us ask pardon and forgiveness and let us also ask god's grace that we treat everyone equally and we we respect everyone equally and believe that jesus is savior for all human kind in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brothers and sisters let us submit our intentions firstly let us submit our catholic church pope francis our cardinal and all the bishops priests and nuns and all the laity lord our father we thank you for becoming savior for all human kind and giving us the wisdom to know that you are the savior for our lives and you are the one who has come to redeem us from all our sins for this intention let us pray to the lord lord hear prayer lord our father we submit ourselves for the very many times we treat people according to our gender according based on religion so on lord forgive and also we request that you give us wisdom to understand that we need to treat equally all those whom we meet in our lives for this inten- intention let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord our father we pray for all our relig- religious and political leaders who have the responsibility to treat people equally and to help all people equally lord they may work towards the peace and unity and they may be the instrument of peace in spite of all the differences that we face so that we may all walk in one way that you have shown us for this intention let us pray to the lord lord of your prayer lord we pray for divyavani tv as divyavani tv is helping very many people faithful to enrich their faith life to reprove and to correct our understanding jesus and very many people as they are benefiting lord help and all those people who are the management and all those people benefactors donors and all those people who are helping the vivani tv may receive the blessings of god for this intention let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer let's pause for a while and in the silence of our hearts let's submit all our personal intentions this prayer we make to christ our lord amen
take my life, O oh Lord, take my life. That my life be worshipped. Take my life, O oh Lord, take my life. That my life resemble your life. That my life resemble your life. Take this bread, O oh Lord, take this bread. That this bread be worshipped. Take this bread, O oh Lord, take this bread. That this bread become now your flesh. That this bread become now your flesh. Take this one, no oh Lord, take this one. That this wine be washed. Take this wine, O oh Lord, take this wine. That this wine be washed. Take this wine, O oh Lord, take this wine. This wine be changed to your blood. That this wine be changed to your blood. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in universe may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the may Lord, the Lord accept, accept this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands. At your hands for the praise for the and glory of his glory name, of for our good, our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, the Lord, we pray, a sincere respect of your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we are claim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant. Which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death o Lord, o Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in our presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Antonio, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in our mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and found by the divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father. Yeah. What in heaven, mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your opposers, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May us mingle your body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in, under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment 
receive you sacramentally. Come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Is my faith in you, O Lord? Is my hope in you, O Lord? Is my love in you, O Lord? Is my trust? You. Son of man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepare for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Yes, eternally is His love. I will sing to my God, never ceasing. All my life I will tell of His wonders He's the maker of all earth and heaven Of the ocean, the seas and all the earth Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His care Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Yes, eternally is His love. 